Welcome to our YouTube video on the uh, Klebs tuning fork coil. We do have a patent pending on this, so if you're thinking on duplicating it, uh, it's alright for private use, but not for commercial use. This is our uh, tuning fork coil design, which is up here, and we have an entrance rod, which is made out of ferrite, uh, and we have an exit rod, which is also made out of ferrite, and sandwiched between those is windings. Uh, they have a rotor in the motor system that has 10 magnets, 3 quarter inch magnets, that are placed at 36 uh, degrees apart. The tuning fork coils are placed at 80 degrees apart. So that's a quick... Now we'll show you a little demonstration on how the motor actually works. This is uh, how it's wired. Uh, they're wired in series. Both the left side and the right side are, winded in, are wound in series. I have these particular ones going through two bridge diodes to a light which I use for a load. Well, you can also you can wire it where you can ground, put a diode or ground one in and run a diode uh, with the cathode a positive on the other end. So you can also uh, you can uh, pause this and look at these and uh, now a demonstration of actually how it works. Email. Uh, our, uh, our, uh, these are the tuning fork coils here. These are drivers that drive the reel. Now the wheel right now is rotating. We have it up to its uh, stationary speed and the rotation speed right now is at 2288 roughly. Now the purpose of these coils is to alleviate, completely stop and reverse a mechanical drag uh, or what you call cogging. Uh, in a normal coil, when you pull power out of the coils, uh, it will slow down the rotational speed of the, of the rotor. The, these coils, the way they're designed, is they actually attract the magnet as it comes up and repel it as it goes out. So it not only stops cogging, it totally reverses cogging. Now, we are hooked up to a 25 volt power supply. And right now, I have it through an ammeter uh, to the driver circuit here. And we are drawing right now from the power supply 684 milliamps. That's the amount of current that it takes to rotate this wheel at 2286. I got too much glare. At 2286 is what our speed is. <coughs> got it. Okay. Now, the output of these coils, the tuning fork coils, is hooked to two bridge rectifiers, which goes through a switch into this light. Now, I want you to notice and keep track of our RPM speed. Can you see that? Good. And our current over here, which is right now at 684 milliamps. When we switch the light on or switch the load on, uh, these will power this light. Watch what happens to the RPMs. See them rise? Listen. You can also hear a pitch change as the rotational speed of the rotor goes up. If you notice the current, the current is now down from 680 down to 640, 639, 634. So as you draw power from these coils, uh, not only does your RPM go up, but your current that it takes to drive the rotor goes down. And you'll see it'll drop down uh, uh, below uh, 500 milliamps or below 600 milliamps to 500 uh, milliamps. Uh, and the speed will slowly go up. This, this, the rotational speed on this will slowly go up from uh, where we was at 2280. Uh, it'll go up to 26, 2700 RPMs. And the faster it goes, the more power it holds. The more power it pulls, the faster the rotation of the, of the wheel goes. Now, notice that the current that we're drawing from the motor is 593 milliamps. We're up at 2600. I'm going to disengage the load, and you can I can keep it running, but just for time purposes, we need to do this quickly. Uh, I'm going to disengage the load, turn off the, the, the load, and watch the RPMs immediately drops and uh, 
current that's being drawn, you'll see, goes up. So when you switch the load off, uh, instead of the RPM going up like a normal uh, circuit would, the RPM goes down on the motor and it start, starts drawing more current. So the idea is that when these coils start to pull power, they not only act as generators, but they also act as motor driver circuits when you pull power. Again, we'll turn on the load, watch the RPMs. RPMs will immediately start going up. The current immediately starts going down. When we turn the uh, power off, the load off, the RPMs will go down, the current will go up. And that's basically it on our demonstration. These uh, coils can be built as drivers, they can be put in to drive the wheel. They're 100% efficient. They pull the the, the magnet in and push it away. They pull the magnet in and push it away as drivers, as generators. They generate power in, in AC output and they accelerate the wheel. And basically that's the end of our demonstration.